Hey guys, it's Grace Marie and I am back on the video. So today, I'll be giving one-on-one -on -one middle school advice. And I wrote, I wrote like some notes there on this little, you know, on this little note thing. So it ain't gonna be too much. It's like how many? I have like twelve. I might not say them all, but I might say about ten, ten of them. But let's get right into the video. But I got this on because my ex is anything. I don't gang bang nothing. Okay, so I just want to give out some um some middle school advice because if y'all don't know I am going to high school I'm going to be a freshman and I feel like people don't really you know give out middle school advice people give out freshman advice and stuff so I'm just giving out middle school advice this this it don't matter if you're in sixth grade going to seventh grade seventh grade going to eighth grade or fifth grade going to sixth grade this advice is for you all middle schoolers okay so rule number one this one is like the most important out of all of them it's hygiene keep your hygiene up because in middle school people are like people so like i don't know but people like they'll talk about you and like if you stink people can talk about you and like because like don't nobody okay people ain't gonna want to be your friend because don't, don't nobody want to be around nobody who stink I'm just like trying to keep it real. I'm not trying to be funny. And I understand it. So nobody wanna be around nobody who stinks. So make sure you at least like pack an emergency kit or something. Just like, you know, have you some deodorant and toothbrush or whatever. Just make sure you keep your hygiene up. That's like, you know, top notch. Cause like that's major. For real. No cap. Attack. So mainly, it's just like your underarms. Just just keep some deodorant with you all the time. It's not really toothpaste, I mean, brush your teeth. Because it's like, you can put some gum in your mouth, but <clears throat> you don't always have deodorant with you. You always have, you know, like gum and stuff. So just make sure you keep your hygiene up because nobody want to be running by this thing. Tip number two is drama. Just try to stay out of drama because... It's really hard to get out. Like for an example, if you are in drama in sixth grade, the, the girl might still want be with you in seventh grade. She gonna keep coming back in eighth grade too. And if I go to the same high school, she probably gonna still um have drama with you in high school because you know that's how drama is. It it follows you, it follows you, and sometimes it never dies. So you stay out of drama. It's gonna like it's gonna distract you. People gonna look at you differently because like if you're in drama, people like okay, I don't wanna, I don't wanna hang around. I don't wanna hang around anybody who always in drama. Just just it, even if you don't start drama, people gonna people gonna still look at you like oh she always in drama. So I don't wanna you know hang out with her or be friends with her. So make sure you just stay out of drama. Point blank three, stay out of. So yeah tip number three peer pressure so um what was i gonna say teachers they're gonna talk to you about peer pressure in middle school but i want to touch on it before they do so peer pressure don't do stuff like if people like pressure pressuring you to do it like don't smoke because if your mama strict like mama my mama you know you're gonna get your butt whooped and you know she's gonna find out anyway so don't you dare I'm not saying don't you dare, but just don't smoke. Don't smoke. And you know your mama gonna find out. Especially if you were fifth grade one to sixth grade. Because baby, you was too young to be smoking and that is not good for you. That's not especially if you smoke a cigarettes. I no, don't smoke no cigarettes. And plus I would I would say some but I can't I can't say nothing because Yeah, I ain't even gonna touch on that. So I'm gonna uh, wait for somebody else to touch on that. But Tip number four, friends. Um, how, how can I say this? Um, 
friends gonna like come and go your sixth grade to seventh grade year because well i don't know sixth or seventh grade year because i wasn't at the same middle school sixth grade and seventh grade i was at two different middle schools like in sixth grade i was at this middle school and in seventh and eighth grade i was at different school so this one getting on my nerves too hold on okay friends make sure like who you call your friends because some people they could just be like um you know using you to see what you're gonna say about their friend and then go back and tell their friend and then the whole time they ain't doing nothing but causing commotion so like choose who you call your friends because some people they really not they really not there to be your friends they have to instigate be messy and that's not what you want that's not who you want at all so just make sure you call your friends um friends are gonna come and go to your sixth and seventh grade year um i have friends but like i had about like um how many friends i had i have like five friends and i'm not saying i had because you know i still got them but i have i had like five real close friends in middle school and let me just do a stage. In seventh grade, I had like a whole bunch of friends. And then when I came to eighth grade, I had like five friends. Like, that's my girl, that's my girl, that's my girl. But like, I had other people, but it was like associates. Like, I, I wouldn't call them my friend. They were just like, you know, associates. Um, But I, I lost friends because of drama. Like, in seventh grade, I was... I was I was in drama but not that much drama but in eighth grade I was in drama like crazy and I regret being in drama because it's just childish. I feel like it's childish. I don't know about you but I feel like it's childish. So I'm trying to be <clears throat> trying to be in that much drama because yeah, it's just it's just gonna get on your nerves like you did to me and you don't want that. It's it's like it's so annoying like People come to you saying, um, they say, la la, la la said this about you, la la said that about you, what's going to go to la la, and that's going to be so annoying, then you go home when they're talking, they're talking junk on Snapchat, on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook, whatever you, whatever y'all own, they'll be posting stuff about you, and then that's not, it. and then people going to be like, oh, well, that's blah blah, uh, I'm not going to be friends with her because I see she in drama, and that's not what you want, because that's really, this lane, this real lane. It's getting hot. Y'all got a fever, and it's real hot. I'm getting hot. But we're just gonna keep on with this video. Tip number five is grades. Um, if your parents is like my parents, real strict, you they be on you about your grades for real. It's because um, your seventh grade. They they said that your seventh grade. Um, what was it? Your EOG score. I think it's your seventh grade EOG counts, and they gonna look at it in high school. Something like that. Some teachers told me in seventh grade. That's what they told me in an effort too. But just keep keep tabs on your grades. Like try to try to get like good grades because they follow you up to high school. Not saying that like they like gonna determine. But they do. They they is gonna determine like what classes you have in high school. But. I don't know how to explain it but just like be on your a game like try to get good grades and yeah just try to get good grades i was gonna say something else but try to get good grades because it's really important and yeah i got them when you stay by grades so it ain't that much to say uh all i gotta say is just stay on your grades and you know try to be the best in your grades like try to get good grades like if you get like one bad grade like if you get one bad grade don't stress over that one bad grade because that one bad grade is not going to affect your i mean it's going to affect your grade but it's not going to bring your great grade all the way down and for you to have like a really bad grade it's not going to do that so don't stress over one bad grade like if you don't stress over that one bad grade and you and you keep on getting the grade like like the bad grade like okay, I don't care about the grade. It's one bad grade. And if you keep on getting the same bad grades over and over, then that's when you need to be more about the grades. So that's really affecting your grades, and you don't want that to be affecting your grades. So 
Yeah, tip number five. I'm gonna tip number six, my bad. Appearance. This is real. This is something I need to touch on because, ooh, baby child. It's like in middle school, that's what people would be like, that's when they be going through it. But appearance. Don't come to school with your head, hair all over your head because there's a little whole bunch of people at my school did. They come to school with their, like, they like their ain't nothing but their head, but they come to school like nobody don't love them. But just make sure you come to school with your, like, not saying come to school looking cute every day because school is not a fashion show. School is somewhere you learn and get your education on to be successful. So I'm not saying come to school every day looking top notch good. I'm saying come to school looking like somebody love you. So just make sure you come to school looking like somebody loves you and not like somebody don't give nothing about you. Because you don't want to be remembered as that boy or as that girl. Oh yeah, don't come to school with your hair. I love your hair. And for boys, don't come to school with like, just like your, your hair looking crazy. Like without having like a, a shape up and like fit slash year or something like that. Because that's like real deep. I don't know y'all boys get like haircuts every like two or three weeks. If I'm, if I'm, if I'm wrong, please correct me because I don't know anything about that. But yeah. So... They own y'all hair and clothes. I don't like on a lazy day, I might want to wear joggers, but my school, my old school, you know, because I'm, I'm, I'm a freshman now, so I'm in high school, so that's my old school. But, um, what else I'm saying? My old school, we had like a kind of dress code. Like, we had to wear solid colors. Like, it had to be, I, I couldn't wear this shirt. It got, I couldn't wear this hoodie. It said Brooklyn, and then got. And plus, because it got it had two colors, it was supposed to be one color without nothing on it. And my pants had to be um, khaki, blue, blue jean. It had to be like simple. So, yeah, because you don't because you do not want to be remembered as that person who look looking crazy every day. Because teachers talk, teacher will teachers will talk about you, and. Yeah, teachers will talk about you saying, Oh my god, where is she wearing? Because this girl, she will come to school with different colored colors in her hair. I'm not saying no names, but that junk look crazy and it's and it and it and it and it, and it wears off and if it don't be cute at all. So just make sure you come to school with your hair looking good and not with your hair looking good, looking like decent. You know what I'm saying? Decent. And make sure it don't look all crazy, boys and girls. Because boys come to school with BBs in the head too. But yeah. Because teachers will talk about you, students talk about you, um, other people, parents talk about you. Um, even guidance classes will talk about you. You know, people people talk these days and it's just getting ridiculous. But I'm off that topic. Next topic. Tip number seven. Try to be in a lot of activities because I was in no activities. We, yes, I was. I got kicked out. I was in this group called Sophisticated Ladies. No, in seventh grade, I was in the group. It was called. It was called Sophisticated Ladies. Yeah, it was called Sophisticated Ladies. And I was in there the whole year. And then eighth grade, it was the same group, but it, but they changed the name, and it was Lead for Girls. And I was in that group, but I got kicked out because I stopped going. Because the lady, she was like, me and my friend were walking by the classroom. And the lady um, came by and was like, so are y'all coming in or not? And <clears throat> we didn't answer her. Like, we just kept walking past her. And she was like, okay, they're not coming back. So my associates had came back to us and was like, oh, she said that y'all can't come back. Y'all kicked out. And I was like, okay, y'all won't catch me back there again. And since I'm kicked out. Yeah, just try to be active, try to be in activities, like try to be a cheerleader, try to be a, um, try, try, try to run track, try, but yeah, just try to be in activities, was it, oh yeah, and I was in another, I was in another activity, it was called Steam Lab and stuff, but I, I stopped going to that because they just stopped, they stopped, like, they just stopped with the group, the whole group just stopped, I don't know why, but yeah. So, 
yeah just try to be like two weeks because i was like in my whole entire um my whole entire middle school experience my whole school, my whole middle school i was in I was like four four um activities that's not a lot but i mean four or three it was probably three that's not a lot but i was doing something Oh, you know what I'm saying? I was doing shame. Okay, tip number eight. Do not, do not. I'm sorry, y'all. Somebody had called me. But like I was saying, um, tip number eight. This has a lot to do with friends. Try not, do not try to fit in. Like I said, do not, do not. Because you just not being yourself. Like you're trying to fit in. And you're trying to have friends. People going to come to you. People going to like go and talk to you for being you not for being nobody else like because one day you, you don't want to like try to be cool and then you're gonna be yourself and people are gonna be like why does she act like that why does she act like that i don't, don't want to be around her it's because you act like yourself so what you need to do is act like yourself and you're gonna see who like who want to hang with you and who want to stick with you so i ain't got a lot to say about that it just speaks for itself i'm not trying to get in because yeah you would have to it's like you you're going be going like you, you're gonna be like it's like you're an actor actor every day every day you put it on the mask every day you ain't being yourself you being somebody that you are not and that's not cool so yeah tip number nine this i got one more so do not do not do not fight over I mean, you don't fight, but do not fight over no dude, especially because boys be playing mind games and that they jump crazy. Be playing mind games with you and that jump cool, and then they'll have you think like you want. They'll have you thinking like you're the only one, but the whole time they got a whole other other girl on the side, and they're gonna be thinking like, "Oh, this my man. Which one to do? Which one to do?" Oh, okay, you just wanna do all, right, all that stuff and that's so played out fighting over a dude. Come on now. Yeah, just don't fight over no dude because that's all the way dead. I would never ever ever fight over no dude. If he's entertaining you, you can have him. If he's calling you bae, you can have him. If he's doing anything that's pleasing you, you can most definitely have him, babe, because he is not gonna be entertaining. Y'all, oh my god, this number keep on fucking calling me. Okay, freaking by the way. Like I was saying, but he is not gonna be entertaining. No, he was not gonna be talking to me while no, hold on, hold on, hold on. He is not gonna gonna be entertaining another girl while he's dating me. That's all the way did. You're gonna have to go. You're gonna have to be with that girl because you were not gonna be doing that with me. You're not gonna play me like um crazy or no. You don't even, you don't even play me, period. I ain't don't fight over no boy. Um, yeah, don't do that because that's all they did. People gonna look at you like, and if you don't, and then fight, just don't fight over no dude because that's just that's nasty, anyways. Oh, yeah, tip number 10 do not talk about people, especially, especially not to others. Because you know, if you talk about somebody around somebody, even if they is your friend, they still might go. To that other person and be like, Oh, Samaria said, said this about you. Samaria said that about you. Samaria said this. Samaria said that. So do not go. I mean, you can say it under your breath. Like, you could be like, Oh, she got on. Oh, she look dumb. You can say that under your breath. Do not say that to nobody because people, it's like, people be tripping. Wait, I got another tip to add. It's just tip 11. But this got a lot to do with friends and don't talk about people. So, this tip is do not be friends with somebody that don't like you or you don't like. Because that's, that's just like, that's just like giving you a reason. I mean, because your friend, okay, okay. So, if you're friends with a person and they're friends with a person that you don't like okay, or that y'all don't like each other, it's, yeah, you won't have to like watch your mouth around that person because you ain't going to say what you want to say because you already know that they're friends with each other and she might go back and tell her. And so I don't care if y'all friends, she still might go 
I can tell her what you say because that's how people is these days. People don't care these days. They don't care if they lose friends or nothing these days. So they just run their mouth. Be easy, be messy. So you need to cut them off. They find something that you don't like and y'all beefing. You need to cut them off because they might end up go back telling telling them to other people what you say about them and that is not cool. Because you have to watch your mouth around them. Like you wouldn't want to be around your friend but have to watch your mouth around them. That shouldn't even be your friend if you have to watch your mouth around them. You know? So don't be friends with somebody who is friends with somebody else that you don't like, if that makes sense. So mm-hmm. Yeah. So that is it. I am done for middle school 101. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to this video. And follow my Instagram at underscore or more Samaria underscore. Um, follow me on Snapchat at Samaria Hurts and my Twitter. I don't know that. I do not know that. The first, I do not know the name for heart because I don't know. I don't believe really on it like that. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on post notification game, and I will be back with more videos. Peace.